Hey friends, welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making cacio e pepe, cacio for cheese and pepe for pepper. Um, it's a traditional Italian dish made with spaghetti and cheese and pepper, melted and creamy and super delicious. Today our challenge though is to make it vegan. Not quite a challenge because I make it quite often, but today I'll be sharing it with you incorporating one of my favorite ingredients right here that we have, which is the spaghetti squash. Let's do it. So the first step to creating this recipe is preparing the spaghetti squash. Um, there are a couple ways to do this, roasting or steaming. For this one, we are going to do it roasted because I want to have the perfect texture and consistency of the noodles um, for this dish. The dish itself is really simple with just a couple ingredients of olive oil, cheese, pepper, and salt. So to get started, what we're gonna do is slice down our spaghetti squash. So the next step is to remove all of the seeds and pulp from the inside of the squash. And it's fairly simple. The only thing is you just have to make sure you're not scooping too much of the actual good stuff that you want, which will become the noodles because the flesh of the spaghetti squash tends to be really soft. Next, we are going to take all of our clean spaghetti squash, place it into a bowl, drizzle it with olive oil and prepare it for roasting. Now the key to this is massaging olive oil evenly and gently all over each piece because we just want the moisture and the fats to be distributed properly, allowing the squash to cook evenly. Finish with a little salt, rub that in a smidge, and then we're gonna place it on a tray to pop into the oven. So after our squash has come out of the oven, it's going to look like this. Super delicious, tender, some browning on there, perfectly fine. Um, it doesn't exactly look like traditional pasta, but this is not traditional pasta. At the end of the day, the flavor is gonna be incredible and it's gonna be exactly what we want to experience. So there's two ways to do this. One would be to use a knife and cut the skin off or you can use your hands. This is tender enough where you can use your hands and so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So as you can see, here is our spaghetti that's like pulling literally right off of the skin. Super delish. So I have a combination of pink peppercorns as well as black, which will just add like a nice little diversity of, of flavor in here. So the last things we need to do to finish this recipe is adding the cacio e pepe. And so the cacio in this case is our cashew cheese that is almost like grated um, Parmesan cheese. Um, so for this, it's dried raw cashews uh, buzzed with garlic powder, salt, onion powder. So I'm gonna add our cheese and then our salt and our pepe, which is the ground pink peppercorns and black peppercorns. Now we are totally ready to plate our cacio e pepe, which has been prepared with spaghetti squash, uh, pink peppercorns, black peppercorns, our cashew cheese, some sea salt, as well as olive oil. Boom! So we're gonna be taking our wonderful sea teal blue greenish color bowl here gorgeous against our yellow peppery cacio e pepe. It looks super delicious. Boom. We'll put a little bit more pepper on there because why the f not? And then a little bit more cheese on there because why not? Alrighty guys. Final taste. Super excited. Getting that. Mm. 
Oh my gosh. This is freaking incredible. Cacio y Pepe, guys. You have to make it. Thanks. See you next time.